So what is adaptive and responsive web design uh, and what's the difference? Well, um, you may or may not know this, but uh, adaptive and uh, responsive web design uh, actually really does the same thing, but uh, in sort of different uh, ways. Um, so uh, what it does is that uh, it uh, actually uh, presents your website in different ways depending on uh, what screen size uh, the viewer is using to to uh, to browse your website so uh, it adapts to uh, a big screen if you're on your desktop a smaller screen if you're on your laptop uh, or even smaller uh, yet if you are on your uh, tablet or uh, smartphone and this is a great way to do it because you don't have to manage more than one website you can uh, have one website with uh, the content you you put in there and you can present it in different ways uh, using these uh, methods and this greatly uh, you know uh, uh, greatly lowers the time you have to to manage uh, your online presence so to take a quick look at uh, adaptive uh, web design um, this is primar primarily based on CSS3 uh, and media qu queries um, and it, uh, it, it what it does is that in your CSS it uh, you, ha you sort of have uh, different uh, profiles for different screen sizes um, so if your screen size is um, uh, you know above uh, a thousand pixels wide uh, you uh, do one set of CSS rules if your screen size is uh, uh, lower than this uh, or you know above 600 uh, pixels wide you have another uh, CSS profile for this and and uh, we also use this type of uh, media queries to uh, to uh, to target uh, print um, uh, to 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 get your website uh, uh, to present nicely on the on paper, um, so that's pretty much the uh, adaptive uh, 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 web design uh, method, and it it also you know it also uh, adapts to uh, whether a, a handheld device like a smartphone or a tablet is uh, is uh, uh, you know held uh, in portrait mode or landscape mode. Um, so this is this this uh, works nicely and uh, is seamless to you to the user. Secondly, we have responsive web design, and uh, responsive web design is also done by CSS bus, but uh, and and JavaScript, JavaScript, but uh, is is working a little different uh, uh, in that uh, the, uh, the responsive web design method changes uh, the the uh, the display or the presentation of your website depend depending on the the size of the uh, browser window and you might ask well isn't this the same as the adaptive method well pretty much but but not quite uh, in in that that uh, the uh, responsive method uh, uses normally uses uh, uh, percentages or m's to uh, target the uh, the different sizes uh, so uh, by uh, uh, making the the size of the text the size of images the size of uh, different elements on the website making them relative to the screen size uh, it can resize uh, uh, sort of uh, on the fly and it, it looks great and it, it can also affect um, uh, affect the number of columns on a uh, on a website um, and uh, next I'll give some examples of uh, of this so here we are at uh, smashingmagazine.com uh, it's a great web website and website and a uh, actually I, I, I really like the the design on, on this website um, and as I said this website is uh, uh, is a, a responsive website so if I uh, change the width of my browser window uh, out here on the right you will see that the uh, layout will start to change and it will uh, you know be responsive and relative to my screen size size all the way to uh, yeah I can get it uh, pretty small 
but it 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 changes uh, on the fly and it uh, changes the the um, the the de design of the page uh, and uh, as I said this is really good for um, for targeting different uh, platforms. If we go over to uh, take a look at my iPhone, um, you'll see here the same website, but in a uh, different manner. And uh, actually, um, uh, you can see that it it uh, has changed to fit the the size of the screen, um, and presents the same content uh, as we saw before on the desktop, uh, but but in a different way, and. Uh, if I tilt the 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 smartphone, uh, you will see it change again. And um, this is a, an example of a responsive website. A, a adaptive website isn't uh, that sh that much uh, much different to look uh, to look at. But uh, as I said, the the way they achieve this uh, is uh, is uh, different. And uh, uh, a lot of the times, adaptive websites. Uh, look a little different because they tend to change the the CSS, the the look of the CSS, the menu structure, and and so on. And you uh, also tend to have uh, longer pages. So I hope you have gotten a better understanding of uh, what responsive and adaptive uh, web design is. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, write them in the comment section below or uh, uh, send me an email. As always, uh, I'm uh, happy to uh, to connect with you on uh, Facebook or Twitter. Um, so uh, don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.